Is this the end of the Mavic Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Advanced as we know it? Now I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to purchase these two drones because, because quite frankly, neither of those two drones really interest me much. They didn't interest me. Just give me a chance to explain. Shortly after I made that video, I got an email from Kevin. Kevin is the CEO of MadMix2.com and AutonomousDroneServices.com. He emailed me and said, hey, I just got these two drones for my business and if you're interested in unboxing it, testing it out and reviewing it along with lots of other drone products that I have for my business, you're more than welcome. I immediately respond to Kevin and I said, absolutely. I went over there, I met Kevin, we spoke for a while. He told me about his businesses. I will leave the links to both of his websites in the description section. Now I'll be talking more about AutonomousDroneServices.com and the services that they're providing and how you can benefit from it as well as madmixtube.com in further videos but for right now let's get started with the topic at hand now i saw in a facebook group recently what appeared to be a leaked pdf document that says eol end of life i also saw it on twitter or Stalavit, I believe is the name of the Twitter guy. He's pretty much a leak source for a lot of YouTubers. He said these products are now EOL, means end of life, Phantom 4 Pro, Pro Plus, Obsidian, Phantom 3 SE, Osmo, Osmo Plus, and, and the hand, a few of the other tech stuff that DJI makes, the Mavic Pro Fly More Combo, and then he says time to upgrade your equipment. This is not necessarily true that it's time to upgrade your equipment so don't panic don't rush do not do anything hasty i'll tell you exactly what this all means and how it's going to affect you first of all let me start by saying that when dji launched this event see the bigger picture there was a lot of hype going on for a while the event was scheduled then it was postponed then there was a bunch of leaks as you already know already and from the information that was coming in i had already gathered that this or these two drones here were going to replace the Mavic Pro series and that the Mavic Pro as we know it would become end of life or discontinued. I actually said that in one of my videos here where I was encouraging people who knew that they were going out to get these new drones to sell their original Mavic Pros in case they needed the extra money to pick up one of these two bad boys right here. Now that time has gone, now is not the time to sell your DJI Mavic Pro. If you did not sell it at the time when I suggested it to you, now would be the ideal time to hold on to it because with the hype surrounding these two new drones right now and their capabilities, has everyone flooding Facebook. If you go to Facebook Marketplace and just type in DJI Mavic Pro, they will be literally at least 40 or 50 Mavic Pros for sale right now. I've heard of Mavic Pro fly more combos going for as low as $350. So now is definitely the time to buy because of all the hype surrounding these drones, but it's not the time to sell. The time to sell has already passed before and leading up to, you, to the event on the 23rd, that would have been the time to sell. Now is the time to buy yourself a good used drone on Facebook or eBay. Now, catch 22. If you're going to be buying a used drone, you really need to have some experience flying drones or at least a certain amount of knowledge about drones to be able to know that you're going to be selecting a good used drones. Buying used drones can be very tricky and you can find yourself getting very frustrated very early if you're buying from an individual and not a company, especially if you're new to the drone game. So be careful with that. If you need me to make a video on what to look out for when buying a used drone, make sure you list it in the comment section so I know how much in demand it is, but that's not what today's video is about. Back to the point at hand. Let us just assume that this information is true. 
these are just leaked stuff that appears on Facebook and on Twitter. We don't know that as a fact, but let's operate from worst case scenario. That's one thing that I learned early in life, operated worst case scenario, just in case. And if you can survive or you can strive in worst case scenario, then you'll be all right in life. So worst case scenario, my Phantom 4 Pro Plus, the Mavic Pros, and all the other older drones, the original, the Advance, the Phantom 4 Standard, all of these drones are end of life or discontinued. All that basically means is, is that DJI won't be manufacturing them anymore. That means they would not be producing them anymore. They are on to bigger and better things. So they're going to be focused on manufacturing and producing and maintaining these new products. It's not the end of the world. I know people with Phantom 4 standards, Phantom 3s. I know people with all of these older model drones that are flying them. That is, the, and they are having a ton of fun with them. And the Phantom 3 has been discontinued or end of life a while ago, long before this message came out today. And people still fly the Phantom 3. I'm still a member of Phantom 3 groups on Facebook and I go in there occasionally, I browse through and I check and I see people still creating good content with the Phantom 3 standard, which is a drone that has been long discontinued. I know you can still buy these discontinued drones these older model drones and as a matter of fact dji right now link in the description section has the mavic pro and the mavic pro platinum and the phantom 4 which is all on the end of life list used meaning refurbished factory refurbished from dji and brand new that means you can get dji refresh care and even if you can't get DJI Refresh Care, you can still go ahead and get State Farm. I'll leave a link for State Farm here. I'm not gonna go into why State Farm is better than DJI Refresh Care. Just click this link and I explain it all while I was driving home one day. As long as you can get insurance on these older drones just in case anything happens. And if you buy these older drones, from uh, DJI themselves or from Amazon. So they are great options out there, even for the drones that are end of life. And that doesn't mean that DJI is throwing it out the window. They are still warranting these drones. They are still, still going to sell you DJI refresh on those drones. So that alone in itself says, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. And it's not anything that you should panic about. Does that make sense? Now moving on to the reason number two, if you look at the Phantom 3 standard and you look at the Phantom 4, they're completely different drones. The 3 and the 4 series, the gimbal, the way the gimbal is hooked up, the whole, the cameras, everything has changed. It has been completely redesigned. The frame of the drone, the interior, the batteries, every single thing is completely different about those two drones. If anyone should be worried, it should be the Phantom 3 guys that are flying and they're not worried. They're still out there flying their hats off. And if you, look at the, if you look at the Mavic Pro compared to the Mavic Pro Platinum, because the Mavic Pro Platinum does not have EOL, end of life or discontinued attached to it. They are almost the same drones. The bodies are the same. The batteries are interchangeable, exact same camera. They are almost identical drones. Just the Mavic Pro Platinum has a different color and a key few upgraded features. So it's not like going from a 3P, a P3 to a P4. It's not like that, where it's a completely different body, completely different everything. They're still very similar parts. So even though it's end of life, I think that the end of life doesn't really make much of a difference for the Mavic models. And the same goes, guys, for the Phantom 4. If you look at the Phantom 4 compared to the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom 4 Advance, the body pretty much is the same thing. The batteries are actually interchangeable. They can work on either which model, so they are very similar. And if you look at the Phantom 4 Advance and the Phantom 4 Pro, compare those to the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, they're almost the exact same drone. Again, the batteries can work, they are interchangeable. The cameras are exactly the same. There's no difference in the cameras. So even though these Phantom 4s are going to be discontinued and the version 2.0 will still stick around, it's not like the P3 compared to the P4 being discontinued. 
manufacturing some parts for the platinum is just like manufacturing some parts for the pro manufacturing some parts for the version 2.0 phantom 4 pro is just like manufacturing some parts for the phantom 4 pro version 1. do you get where i'm going with this so it's not quite the same as going from a p3 that's discontinued to a p4 so don't panic guys don't make this a bigger deal than it is if this information so happens to be true and just in case this information still does bother you and you need to have the latest and the greatest i have some links in the description section where you can get these drones on amazon or you can get them with no tax and free shipping from dji itself i have a few useful links in the description section so you can head over there just pick it up and if you want to get rid of your end of life drones or your discontinued drones if that makes you feel better then go right ahead too guys i hope that this video has shined some kind of light on this whole situation and help to put things in a little bit of perspective for you when it comes to what to do right now as soon as these two bad boys came out people are literally scattered and don't know what to do whether to buy it to grab it to keep the old ones in you it's just mayhem in the drone community right now hopefully this information can put things in a little bit of perspective for you just in case you had some concerns guys i can't wait to unbox these the fly more combo is scheduled to be delivered to kevin today right now as i'm making this video as soon as he gets it he'll message me i'll head over there i'll pick up the fly more combo i'll bring it over here i'll unbox all three the fly more combo and both of these drones go in depth with the things i like the things i don't like because these drones unlike most of the dji portable drones like the older mavics which came out at a thousand dollar price point these ones start at 1250 and 1499 and by the time you finish with the fly more combo you can pretty much be up there in price just the whole overall dynamics of the way they built them package them that it's really worth the money and then of course i can't wait to take these out in the field and compare them drone x factor style don't forget guys i'm on facebook i'm on instagram and i am on twitter at drone x factor don't be afraid to reach out to me there and let me know if you have any additional questions or list it in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you in any which way shape or form that i can also don't forget to hit like subscribe thumbs up all that good stuff and hit the bell icon so that you can see when these drones are unboxed and i go through an in-depth flight test unlike no other structured in a way specifically to help you make a quality decision about these drones also guys head over to my patreon account and become a patreon it's only one dollar a month that's all it takes and you will be automatically eligible to win six giveaways i'll be giving away six of these dji mavic 2 pros to six of my patrons you could be the lucky one if you head over there and become a patron all it takes is one dollar as always thanks for watching and special thanks goes out to autonomous drone services and magmixtube.com for sponsoring these drones for me to test and review for you guys this is your boy drone x factor and i've got to be unboxing and flight testing